With the global launch of Xiaomi 14 and hopefully Xiaomi 14 Pro, Xiaomi is likely to bring the first Leica flagships of 2024 to Europe at the Mobile World Congress 2024. However, despite the presumably high price level, many are likely to be more interested in the successor to the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, which will probably be officially unveiled in the middle of the year, and then will have to compete against many powerful opponents. In addition to the Zeiss high-end flagship from Vivo, presumably named Vivo X100 Pro Plus with a 200-megapixel telephoto, the Honor Magic 6 series, and the Oppo Find X7 Ultra will already be available. The latter will feature a new Sony Leica 900 sensor in 1-inch format and two periscope telephoto cameras. Whether the Xiaomi 14 Ultra will offer too many innovations in terms of additional sensors this year is questionable, but at least the main camera should reach a whole new level of quality, as leakers have hinted in their latest posts. Xiaomi 14 Ultra with Light Hunter 1000 sensor, the well-known Chinese leaker digital chat station reported that the final Xiaomi 14 Ultra models will be based Based on an Omnivision OV50N sensor with new LOFIC technology. While prototypes are currently still being tested with the OV50K 1 inch sensor. According to an Indian leaker Kartiki Singh, Xiaomi will not use the original name of a 1 inch sensor to market the camera technology in its upcoming Xiaomi 14 Ultra smartphone. Instead, it will follow the same strategy used for the Xiaomi 14 Pro and refer to it as part of the Light Hunter series. Specifically, a Light Hunter 1000 sensor is to be expected, behind which a Xiaomi adapted Omnivision sensor is to be found analogous to the Light Hunter 900 in the Xiaomi 14 Pro. The aforementioned technology from Huawei, Huawei is part of the Omnivision corporate network, is said to deliver better results than the dual transistor technology advertised by Sony and make the Light Hunter 1000 the best sensor of the year, even better than the Sony Leica 900. Of course, there is currently no evidence for any of these claims, so it's reasonable to take everything mentioned above with a grain of salt.